Hello everyone, welcome back to a discussion on the 2021 season of anime. Today, we'll be talking about the Aquatope on White Sand. And I have no idea what Aquatope means. It's aqua and then T-O-P-E. Uh, I looked it up and apparently it's not even a word. Um, like, the only results for that word are the anime. So I'm kind of concerned about what that means. I think maybe they mean aquarium and it's just like a, a bad translation. Anyway, getting into it, it centers around two girls, Fuka, who's a former idol, and then also uh, Kukuru, who is uh, basically a, a aquarium director. Not, not the full aquarium director, but she's kind of like a uh, uh, substitute aquarium director at an aquarium. And basically, Fuka's dream of being an idol gets shattered, so she just randomly takes, for some reason, a like bus to Okinawa and stumbles upon this aquarium uh, where she has like this weird vision while she's inside of it. And as a result of that, she asks to work there and... Kukuru, after some hesitation and whatnot, accepts. And they start living together and working at the aquarium. Is essentially what ends up happening. Um, and Kukuru's dream is to keep the aquarium open. Because it's going to be closing at the end of summer. And so, uh, together the two girls are trying to keep Kukuru's dream alive. Because Fuka knows how much uh, losing a dream uh, sucks. Uh, and so they're trying to save the aquarium over the summer by drumming up traffic and, you know, getting sales higher. Because the aquarium is old. It's uh, 48 years old. And uh, it's starting to, you know, need repairs and that kind of stuff. And they just don't have the money for it. That's kind of the story. Uh, I will say right now <clears throat> that the show is apparently 24 episodes long. And we're currently only 12 in. However... Episode 12 ends on a pretty good part that I feel it could just end back now. So I'm going to stop watching the show because it didn't really pull me in as much as I thought it should. You know, like it's nothing that I was really like jazzed to like watch every week. It was just sort of something I was watching to pass the time. Uh, but not enough to be like, okay, I'm just going to drop this. It was still kind of interesting. But I feel like for the most part, everything's wrapped up. They've kind of decided on their future plans. They're going to stay friends, and all this kind of stuff is happening. And so, the other 12 episodes, I don't know what it's going to be. Because it's uh, it ends in a very, like, it should end place. Also, this show feels like it should just be a movie, and not necessarily an anime. There's a lot of stuff that I feel like it's just extra that doesn't need to be in there. And it could have just been condensed into, like, a movie. And it would have been a much more interesting experience. Maybe two movies, since it has 12 episodes. Uh, so far, the first season basically felt like it could have been just one huge movie. But yeah, from here, I'm not sure where they're going to go. I can speculate. Um, but I feel like speculation halfway through a season would uh, give spoils about the first half of the season. So I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, anyway... My thoughts on her that it was cute. It was sad at times. Um, if you like uh, fish and like aquarium life, like penguins and crabs and that kind of stuff, uh, there's that stuff in here. There's also like this little deity god who like shows up every once in a while. Apparently, no one can see him. And I mentioned this in the uh, the first video I made about like all the anime this season. Uh, apparently, he doesn't do anything in the first twelve episodes. I don't know if he comes into play later, but like no one notices him. He just, like, shows up for once in a while and, like, eats a fish head or, like, walks on something. Um, it's like he's just a background, like, thing that they just added. I don't know. Kind of weird. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, I don't know. Definitely something I'm not going to rewatch ever. Uh, and Like I said, I'm not even going to watch the, the last bit of it because it's not really gripping me in. And it ended in a fairly good way, I feel, on episode 12. Um so if you like fish and stuff, feel free to watch it up until episode 12 at least, if not more. 
you know, throw it out there. Also, it's weird that this got like 24 episodes when like really good shows don't get 24 episodes and they're like, oh, are we going to give them a second season or not? I don't understand how seasons work. Like, it has to be something to do with like the, the, the person who has the source material. Um, in this case, it's, it's an original, I guess. So they don't even have a source material. But I don't know. Maybe it's because of that. Maybe it's because it's an original work and it's not derived from a manga or a light novel that they were able to just give it 24 episodes because they had their own story. Whereas with light novels or manga, they have to kind of wait for the whole story to come out before they can release more content. And I guess a lot of anime, for some reason, doesn't wait until the manga or light novels are done. Which uh, kind of sucks, I guess, huh? That's weird. But maybe that's why. I don't know. I never really looked too far into where the source material comes from, whether or not it's a manga or a light novel or it's original. So maybe original ones just run longer because they can, because it's all stuff that's made up for the spot. You know. Anyway, um, that'll be all for now. I'm going to go into a little bit of spoilers here, just uh, talking about what I think will happen going down the road. So I will have to mention some things that occurred at the final, but other than that, you can feel free to end the video here. That's all you wanted to hear about. Uh, so at the end of the 12 episodes, Gamma Gamma shuts down, and Fuka and Kukuru have like a chat. Uh, essentially, Fuka was going to go and work on a movie because Kukuru wanted her to go back to her dream and whatnot, and Fuka had like a... Uh, an offer to work on a movie as an idol again. Um, but Fuka didn't really want to, but since Kukuru was pushing it to her because Kukuru lost her dream, she was like, sure. But then, like, at the end, Fuka ends up running back, canceling her flight, and comforting um, Kukuru, who is crying on top of the airport after she saw her off. And basically saying that, you know, we'll be together, and I'll be like your big sister, and yada, 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 that kind of stuff. Um, however, she's looking a flight to go back home, after that, because high school is going to resume in the next, uh, like, week or so. Um, and so I'm guessing what's going to happen is Fuka and, you know, Kukuru is going to be like a time lapse. Like, it's going to, like, go by with him being in school, being apart. Uh, it might show it, it might not. Uh, but Kukuru is planning to go to the new aquarium that's opening. That's going, that's taking some of their staff and their fish. So she's probably going to be working there. Whereas Fuka... She might also join the aquarium as well, since she has aquarium uh, knowledge, having worked at Gamma Gamma uh, and her idol career being on the outs. So I'm guessing it's going to possibly be Fuka in high school deciding what she wants to do, realizing she wants to be part of the aquarium, and then joining up with Kukuru at the new uh, aquarium is how it's going to like wrap up. Or it's going to fast forward through high school, basically be them reuniting at the new aquarium, and then just taking care of fish and being like a, a weird, like, slice of life thing as they take care of stuff. Yeah, that'd be my guess. Um, but yeah, hard to tell without watching it. But for now, I got everything that I needed out of it. I feel like the story wrapped up nicely with a little bow at the end of this 12 episodes because it wrapped up Gamma Gamma, it's, it's going down, and Kukuru's more than likely going to finish high school and then join the other aquarium. Fuka is looking for her dream now, and that's just kind of what's going on. Um, so it seems like everything's wrapped up, and it doesn't really need to continue. Uh, so in my eyes, since I was never that invested in the story to begin with, that's why I am going to just end things here for me watching it. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll wrap things up here, everyone. Thank you for listening to me, as always. Uh, a lot more are coming out and ending. And oh my god, if you're not watching Higurashi, watch it. The most amazing episode just happened this week. And oh my god, it was amazing. Like, holy shit. So, check that out. Um, anyway, that wraps it up for me, everyone. Thank you for listening. Next time we'll talk about another show. Until then, bye for now.